Okay, so for my Halloween stuff, I'm going to use the Canvas Workspace projects, different elements from each. So, for example, the Halloween pop-up card gives you options of different things it's going to have on the screen. And I'm going to transfer them to my mat by clicking the purple and OK. So that's downloaded onto my mat, and I'm going to do that for all the different uh, files that are available for it. So if you go back to Canvas Workspace, save that onto your mat by using the purple save. I've already done it, but you click it and it will save that as a file. Then you can take off each individual piece. Don't worry about the fact they're blocked colours. It will still cut it as it is when it transfers to your machine as the outline. <coughs> so for each of the projects I'm going to do for Halloween, that's how I'm going to get the bits to make my cutting files. So if I show you my projects, I've already created them here ready, so downloaded them. Um, so you've got this one, for example, on there. And I'm just going to download each bit that I want to make each file as I go along. So I'll bring you back when I'm ready to do those, but that's how each of my Halloween files are going to be created from the base projects that are available on the Scan and Cut canvas. Okay, so I've downloaded some of those files that were on the Brothers uh, software online, the Brothers Canvas. So I've downloaded the trees, the bats and the pumpkins from the pop-up design that was on there. And I'm going to, I've laid them out ready on my mat and I'm going to cut the trees and the bats out of black gloss. And I'm going to cut the pumpkins out of orange stained glass and I'm going to apply them to one of these jars to create a lantern for Halloween. So I'll put the bits on my mat and then I'll bring you back and show you how we go. Okay so I've got my vinyl line already lined up on this sheet and my setting for my blade is half. So I'm going to go okay. Okay again. Cut. And just to show you my cuts pressure zero, speed one. So it'll take three minutes. So I'll bring it back when it's ready. Okay, so I've done most of it ready before I brought you back, but I've cut an extra pumpkin, tree, and bat because I've decided as I was putting them on ready to show you that four would fit better than three. Um, so don't ever be afraid to reconsider what you're doing because it's easily worked around if you do it methodically. So to weed, just put your weeding tool into the corner and pull back and literally pull away from the design. You can see there's bits still stuck in there from the tree design. So you just get your weeding hook and pull them out. If you can hear snoring, that's my dog. He's had his dinner, and now he's fast asleep. Right, so that's the tree weeded and ready to go. I've weeded the last pumpkin, so that's ready to go. And I've weeded the last, I've got the last bat to weed. So, again, pull the corner, and that's your bat. And now to apply them, you can either do a multitude of ways. If you, it's a straight thing like the bat, you'll see in a minute, we'll apply that just straight off. Same with the pumpkin. The tree can be a bit, little bit more fiddly. If you have any concerns, then use some of this transfer sheet and it's reusable. And literally, you can then apply it by putting it on this onto the back of it. But I'm going to apply the tree because I want a bit of movability. So I'm literally taking the tree off its own backing first, ever so carefully so I don't unstick the stickiness on the back. And then I'm going to apply it to the jar. So because it's a tree and I've got them all coming off from the bottom, easy way to line it up is to line up the bottom first and then just rub it in place. And then last but no means least on that, I'll put another pumpkin on. And again, you can either use your transfer sheet 
or apply it yourself. And I put the middle of the pumpkin on because it's a beveled jar and then rub the edges out. If you get a piece like that, you can either rub the crease down or just go back in and lift it and that will work. And then I've got the bat, which is last. So again, let's get the bat. And rub it in place. And there we have it. And then the night time, that will look fantastic. And it'll create a silhouette effect. And you'll still see, the, for, because I've used the stained glass for the pumpkins, you'll still see the stained glass pumpkins brightly orange but the black will just be a shadow so there you have a halloween inspired mason jar